Swole Benji here. Today I wanted to talk to you about being efficient at maxing out your weapon skills. So a lot of you will be hitting 60 soon or have already hit 60. And one of the grinds in the game is the weapon mastery, okay? So as you can see here, I've got most weapons at level 7. This one's 9, this one's 11. I've got great axe, bow, and musket mastered. So how do you go about maxing these out? Maybe not as quick as possible, but how about as efficiently as possible? So let's start with your attributes. Now if you look on the screen, you will see weapon icons. And you will notice that the one stat that has the most weapons is dexterity. So what this means is that the spear, the musket, the rapier, the bow, the hatchet, and the sword and shield all scale with the dexterity in some way or another, okay? Now sure, the sword, the spear, hatchet, etc., these all scale better with strength, but my method, you're not going to be fighting in-game monsters, okay? And you want to be level 60. This does not work if you are not level 60. It is actually a waste of time if you are not level 60 because when you hit level 60, you have access to in-game gear. And as you play and you loop things and you check the markets, you should be hoarding a, uh, a nice stash of weapons to swap to. So here I have uh, several different weapons. I have... Um, one weapon of every type actually right here in the inventory and I have the hatchet with me. So let's say I want to level the, uh, let's go with, um, let's see, well, let's, let's just pick uh, the spear here. So this is the strongest spear I've found so far in the world, which is a level or a gear score 502 spear with this dexterity based. It has light and heavy attack bonus. And so I can just slap this bad boy on. I don't care about selling it because, again, these things are like 25 bucks on the market. I've got 30k, another 20 to 30k invested in the market. So I'm I'm good on money. I could I could buy a better weapon. I won't need a better weapon, and I'm going to show you why. But essentially, you would pick a weapon, and the way you're going to do this is you're not going to go to a popular spot and AOE down elite monsters. Okay, that's not how you're going to do this. You're actually going to teleport. Uh, let's see, right here. Okay, so this teleport, the Archinar Gate, it is located in Monarch's Bluff. Um, I like to show everything from Everfall because Everfall is kind of like the capital city of the game. So southwest of Everfall is this fast travel point, and we're going to go there. My uh, my faction owns Monarch's Bluff, so it's super cheap for me to go there. Um, and then we're, we're going to actually go down here to this uh, far side township, which is a level 19 zone. And the reason we're going there is because of the mob density, all right? And when you hit level 60, everything that you kill will give you weapon experience as if you were around its level. So let's say you're level 59 and you kill a mob. I'll show you right now. Um, I actually don't have the proper items in my spear, but like if I was level 59 and I killed one of these skeletons, it would give me five experience and five weapon experience. But right now it gives me 24 weapon experience. And they can't hurt me, and I can easily one to two shot them, especially if I use abilities and have the proper tree set up. I do not right now. But essentially, we're going to run down here to this area, and let's just make this a little faster. I'm going to swap to the bow and use that as my running ability. Because when I dodge, I get 10% haste, and when I do this little weapon swap technique to cancel the animation, I get another 10% haste, which allows me to run faster, and there's... Uh, there is a small cooldown on it, but it's pretty it's pretty quick. I, I don't think it's faster than Great Axe Charging, uh, to be honest, and Triple Rolling, but regardless, we're going to get there really, really quickly, and I'm going to show you just how dense this area is. Now, there might be an area more densely populated, possibly with higher level mobs. Now, let me talk about mob level real quick, okay? Because these mobs are going to be around level 19 to 20. Um... And they're going to give about, what, 24, 25 experience each. They're one-shottable. Completely one-shottable. But, if you were to kill a level 45 mob, you will get around 54 to 55 experience, which is better. But you may not be able to one-shot them or kill them as quickly. Or find an area where there's as many. And a lot of these level 45 places currently are very packed with players. I don't. If you're playing on a low-pop server at 3 in the morning, you can probably get away with farming those zones. Uh, or, you know, get a group and AoE them down, which is kind of the meta right now. But for those that don't want to do groups or... Um, a lot of these places were always too packed. Like, every time I went to Boars, there was always, like, 20 people there. And you have to share experience with them. And you have to deal damage to even get credit, right? 
But this area is incredibly dense with these level 20 mobs, right? And they're incredibly easy to kill. There's lots of stuff you can pick up and farm around. There's tons and tons of these blight roots. Like, there's so many. There's lots of crops. Um, so you, you can by the, you will never be able to clear this place by the time mobs start respawning, okay? And essentially, you either want an ability that one-shots them, which I don't know if this does because I'm not a spear player. Oh, I guess it does. Um, maybe just a little light, like a slow charge heavy attack. See, so there's 57 experience, and, and this is so much faster with a ranged weapon like a fire staff or an ice gauntlet, a musket or a bow. Uh, for melee, it's not as quick. Okay, I locked onto the wrong mob there. But essentially, we just want to two-shot these guys, and if I used abilities, I'm sure it would be even faster. But there we go, we just got 57 experience. If you want to kill a boar with this, you're going to have to do about double the damage that I'm doing. But also let me talk more about mob levels. At level 65, the mobs still only give you 54 weapon experience, okay? The only way to raise it to 110 is to kill elite mobs. And you know how much HP elite mobs have? They have tons of them. And you know what? Currently, the meta for in-game right now that everyone's doing, all the big guilds, all the big players, they are all doing the elite areas they're just circling the entire map getting every elite chest once a day that is their daily it's basically a daily they go to every single elite area in the game including the level 25 pirate cove they loot the elite chest and they kill everything in there and so if you want to zerg up and group up with people and do that to level your weapons that's okay that's fine uh but there's so many people doing that that's all people are doing right now at level 60 is that um <laughs> it, it, it's not efficient and it's not infinite okay it's it's more taxing you gotta pay more attention now a great thing about this i mean look at my weapon level i'm almost level eight and i'm, I'm just running around aimlessly and clicking on these guys right very easy very cool what this is also going to do is you are constantly going to be getting azoth as a matter of fact anytime i'm out of azoth you know what i do i come here and i farm my weapon levels uh, because by the in one one to two hours, I will be able to raise a weapon from like 17 to 20. Oh, well, I'm sorry, no, that's one hour. 17 to 20 in one hour, and like 14 to 20 in two hours, right? Uh, it's very quick. It's very easy. Uh, but also, I will go from zero to 1,000 Azoth. I will have looted about 10 vials of suspended Azoth, and I will have tons of items to break down and to have maximum repair kits. So you can see I'm Azoth capped, I'm repair kit capped. I also make lots of gold doing this because the mobs, when you're level 60, I think they drop like, what, five to seven coins? And, and when you're just endlessly grinding these guys, uh, this adds up very quickly. And I know it's a little mindless, but you can just watch television. These guys cannot kill you. They are extremely weak monsters. Like, and if you have abilities that AoE, look at that, you can just, you can just kind of mix it up, you know, just use your abilities. I'm not a spear player, so I don't really know what the spears do, but essentially, you're just, it's right here. Like I said, Monarch's Bluff, you go southwest from Everfall, and this place is called the Farside Township. Uh, these, these areas are incredibly mob dense. Um, I just want to show it off some more, especially, I think it's this farm right here that has the most mobs. Uh, they, they are spread out slightly, and like the cow and the pig and the turkey, if you want that meat, you can get it. You can get these blight crags. Or, <laughs> the whole area is surrounded. Also, this happens to be the best spot for barley in the game, and barley is one of the most rare vegetables in the game. There, there's like maybe two or three spawns in the whole map. So there you go. This is a, a great way to stock up on barley. So there's your money. Um, I have made so much money off of barley. For th this is a reward for re getting this far in the video, by the way. I always like to hide little hidden gems in my videos for those that are loyal and watch the entire video, not just like the first minute or two. So there you go. There's the barley farm. Uh, barley was selling for about 50 each, and I would sell hundreds a day. So um, right now, I think barley's down to maybe four or five bucks because people started target farming and figuring it out. But I've already moved on to another farm and... <laughs> Uh, which I will eventually make a video on when the market dies on that. Um, I'm thinking about may maybe doing like a like a YouTube membership thing where people can get access to videos early so that they can bank on stuff like this. But um, that that's for another time. But essentially, like these mobs, they respawn incredibly fast. You don't have to go more than a few seconds without killing one. Uh, it really does help if you have a ranged weapon because with a musket or a bow, you can kill like 30 to 40 mobs without stopping and the little experience counter in the in the right kind of bottom right middle of the screen there 
will never fade out. Like, I'm already, like, at 140. Okay, so it's 490 coins. Oh, is that a... That's a, just a green drop. You will get lots of crafting materials, too. I, I have... Um, those sell really well, by the way, for crafters. And there we go, we're spear level 8. And how long have we done this? Under... Including the travel time in the intro, it's under 10 minutes. So we got a weapon level in, what, 8 minutes? 7 minutes? Something like that? And, uh, you just keep doing this. You just keep running around in this big circle, and you just kill all the mobs, and they respawn really fast. I think there's like 3 or 4 in this house. But, you guys get the point. Just come here whenever you don't have any Azoth. Whenever you're bored and you want to watch movies or anime or whatever it is you do, maybe you're hanging out with your girlfriend and you want to watch a movie with her or something, you know, and just smash down some mobs, grab some looties, you'll max out your repair kits, you'll get tons of crafting greens um, to modify your your items, you're going to get tons of suspended A's off, you're going to get all sorts of fun stuff, and uh, ideally you could wear a, a rarity, I'm sorry, a plus luck set. And also, if you used your abilities, you would clear these way faster, which um, I haven't really talented up. But you guys get the idea. I'm not going to tell you an exact build on how to clear this. Just pick a weapon you want to level when you're bored. Come here, loot all the supply crates if you want, sell the stuff. It's it's a good farm. It's, it's a very efficient way to level your weapons. I haven't found an area with faster respawning mobs that's more dense. With it, with things to target farm, which is for me, like, look, I, uh, I want to kind of run around them. There's so many blight crags and cr whatever the, these things are, what blight, yeah, blight crags and uh, blight roots. This whole area is just surrounded with them, and each one of those is like each blight crag is 10 on this server, it, they're, they're 10 coins, and there's like five or six around me, and they respawn really quick. Uh, you can level your weapons while you do this. Um, <laughs> Uh, again, it's just great. You're also building Monarch Bluff Standing if you care about that, which um, I'm a little disappointed. It seems like some of the, the higher levels of Standing have been nerfed heavily. Look at them. See, they're like right next to each other. There's so many on the map. Look at them all. Like, <laughs> whenever you kill the mobs, if you want to get bored, come come pick some of these out. I'm telling you guys, this is this is the dream spot to level weapons. Uh, it's not it's not dungeons like I haven't really been able to find dungeons I'm on like a medium high pop server and people just stopped doing Amrai and they just completely stopped all right uh, all they've been doing is the like you can see in the chat right now looking for member Caminus uh, SM elite 60 plus like that's all people are doing they're just running around and zerging down the mobs and when you're sharing a kill with like a group of 30 to 40 people you're getting less weapon experience than killing one of these guys, and they die so fast. Yeah, you could farm a high level zone, you could do quests, sure. Uh, is it as efficient? Not really, no. Um, this is completely brain dead and lazy, like I said. So guys, uh, that is the... One of the best ways to level your weapons, just, just come here, start smashing. I could probably just do a heavy attack and then down they go, you know? Like, you, figure it out, use whatever weapon you want. Like, I can just switch to the hatchet now and, uh, you know, level that up if I wanted, which, uh, what, I, I two-shot that thing? That's two-shot. Like, look how fast this is. Um, maybe the spear wasn't the best example to show, but, like, things just die immediately. You just run from mob to mob, smash them down. That one took three hits for some reason. And, uh, I'm, I like to make it a little game, at least with the ranged weapons. Um, <laughs> you were, uh, at, you see, uh, every time you kill something, you'll start getting more and more weapon experience adding up. It's 28 each time, but I've gotten it up to, like, 1,200, man. <laughs> like, like, I've got that thing really high with a musket, okay? And I know I kind of made a video already about the musket, but this one is for all weapons. You know, you just roll between the mobs, and look at that. We got it up to 87. Let's keep going, you know? Can we get to this guy? I don't think we can get to this guy. Well, we stopped at 150. So is that a, is that, a, you see the little blue hue right here? Uh, no, it's just a strong health potion. Also, this is a good source of potions. I mean, <laughs> I have a very good amount. I've been making a lot of money selling potions too. But yeah, you can come here, you can farm all sorts of fun crops and ingredients. And uh, if you get bored, there's a hemp farm nearby. You can check out my other videos where I covered that. Guys, this is just, uh, you know, you, you can max out your whole weapons here in one day if you want. Just spend a day here grabbing all the loots, grabbing all the crops, smashing down mobs. You'll have every weapon maxed, um, you know, from sunup to sundown. There you go. It's very simple. Anyway, guys, I'm Swole Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Make sure that you leave a like and a comment on the video. You gotta do both, okay?
Uh, there's a couple reasons why. If you leave a like and a comment, it's an algorithm cheat code. It is a YouTube combo, but also, we're currently being uh, attacked by a 500,000 sub channel because the faction I'm in uh, took over Weaver's Finn, and they're mad about it. So they're taking it out on me outside of the video game, which is really silly. Like, I've always had this policy here on the channel that we, we, we troll. We do, we do a little troll in here, but we don't ever troll outside of the game, and we only use in-game me in -game mechanics to troll. Okay, so we we absolutely do not do real life stuff. So I don't want to see anyone counter trolling or, or crapping crapping up the other dude's channel or any of that kind of stuff. Okay, just don't don't just just don't worry about it. Like just let them vent and be mad. But but we are getting downvote brigaded uh, <laughs> by them. So it really helps if you would leave a like. Also, eighty one percent of you aren't subscribed. I make a video every single day, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a vid. I know the algorithm showed you my video on your main page, but it won't always, especially if I'm getting downvote brigade, brigaded all the time. But let me tell you a little bit of truth about the downvote brigade, okay? On YouTube, downvotes don't actually do anything unless you've watched three minutes of the video. So, just a little tip for all you little raiders out there that are seething and mad that I played the video game and took your territory, like... I mean, what, I'm, I'm just not supposed to play the video game? I'm not supposed to play the video game the way it's intended? Uh, whatever, man. Like, stay mad, I guess. But anyway, guys, that's all I've got for you. And um, I, I'll be seeing a bunch of you guys here later today, smashing down these uh, lost mobs and grabbing the cabbages, okay? No, my cabbages, no. Anyway, take care, lads. See you tomorrow.